Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Imani and you're watching Faith by Design. Welcome if you are new and welcome if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. I hope that today is a wonderful start to your weekend. I am here today to stuff some money in my $1,000 savings challenge, save $1,000 in 90 days. This is a goal of mine before the end of the year, and this will be adding to our emergency fund, which is in my high yield savings account. And then I also have money today to stuff for my Black Friday savings challenge. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then please keep watching. I am happy to be filming this video. This is Friday and I was supposed to get this up Wednesday or so, but I wasn't feeling too well. I had a flu shot and C shot, you know what that is. I have I hadn't been feeling too well, so my voice was a little scratchy, so I didn't want to come on here. I didn't want to come on here sounding really messed up, but I'm much better now and hopefully I sound okay. But we're going to make this short and sweet. It's the week before Thanksgiving. So if I don't film next week, which I do intend to film, but if I don't, I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And I am gearing up for traveling. We're going to be traveling for Thanksgiving this year. So we don't have much to worry about as far as food preparation, which I am so thankful for. But we do have to travel and pack and do all of that. We're going to be staying for like two nights. So we're going to be gearing up for that. But I'm super excited for Thanksgiving. I'm excited for my birthday. I'm excited for Christmas coming up. My birthday is actually after Thanksgiving. It's towards the, towards the end of November. So I've had a full month of celebrating and just getting in that mindset of a new year that I'll be turning. I'm so blessed and thankful. So let's go ahead and stuff this money before I just continue to talk. But we have $100 here, and this $100 is prop money that I'll be using to stuff this $1,000 savings challenge. And I always forget it's in another binder, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and color in a hundred dollars which will be 40 45 and 15. but yeah i'm looking forward to eating for thanksgiving this is my favorite holiday because i love eating and i love just the whole thankfulness behind it and just being thankful for what you have spending time with family so i'm looking forward to it comment down below if you uh, comment down below what your favorite meal is to eat for Thanksgiving. Mine's is actually macaroni and cheese. I'm a cheese girl. I love dairy, ice cream, cheese for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, pizza, omelets. I love cheese. I eat cheese a lot. But, um, yeah, so that's my favorite meal to eat, and I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's good. Um... I don't know if the person that usually makes it is making it this year. I typically try to make desserts when I go, when we have potluck. My favorite thing to make is seven up cake. I also love banana pudding. I don't really eat turkey on Thanksgiving. I usually eat ham, but that's about it. So comment down below what your favorite meal is to have for Thanksgiving. All right, so that's $100. that we're putting into this emergency fund. This is where the $1,000 is going to build it up. So we have 1,000 in the bank. We have, oh goodness. Okay, so let me get this money straight. We have 1,000 in the bank. And you know, prop money doesn't quite do right unless you have sore quick, which I don't have. But we have 100, 200, 300 and 400 so we're at 1400 and 
whatever the interest is that we have accumulated so far, having this sit in a high yield savings account. So we're done with that. And we're gonna also stuff today our Black Friday challenge. I also added 200 additional dollars towards this Christmas challenge. And so now I'm at $810, which I'm so excited about. I haven't really started Christmas shopping yet, but everyone has told me what their Christmas wishes are, the list that they would like to have as far as gifts. So I have everything prepared. I just need to start shopping. And knowing me, I probably won't start until just around Black Friday, which is usually when I get more in the Christmas mindset of shopping and doing all of that. Um, but I want my goal of $1,000 to be accomplished, so I probably won't really start shopping until I hit that goal, which I foresee myself doing within the next week or two probably a week since Black Friday is next week, technically. Speaking of Black Friday, isn't it nice that now we don't really have like the Black Friday from the past where you had to stand in line and get to the stores early? Like I never was able to do that. I never did it. But, you know, just hearing the stories about having a camp outside and the crowds and people just going crazy, I'm glad those days are pretty much over. So, I typically am a Cyber Monday shopper. I like to shop online, but, and you can also get Black Friday deals now, so I'm happy about that. So this goal is $300, so we're adding 100 today, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then we have 120, 140, 160, 180. So let's color in $100, and... Ooh. All right, so we're going to color in this 20. But yeah, I typically like to spend um, on beauty products for Black Friday or I'll spend like on skincare products. I have three girls. And so, you know, we have a lot of need for hair care products and things like that. So I typically spend money on that for Black Friday as well as I want to get some budgeting challenges for Black Friday. I've been looking at wallets as well. There are so many options on Etsy and Amazon, so hopefully I'll be able to narrow it down and find something that I would like to purchase. So that's 50, and now we just need to color in 50 more. So this is 30. And 15 and 20. All right. I know for sure I'm also going to be getting the Bath and Body Works candles, which usually happens the first weekend of December, the candle day sale. So I'll definitely use some of this money for that. Although this year I haven't really um been burning those candles because I had a haul last year and then they lasted probably about six months and after that I ran out of candles and I never went back to go I never went back to Bath and Body Works so hopefully I'll be able to get probably about the same amount this year and kind of pace myself so they can last a little bit longer but I'm looking forward to that so we are done with challenges today. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. If I don't see you or hear from you next week, and I hope you all have a great time going out shopping and prayers to everyone out in traffic, in the stores and on the roads this holiday season. So thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.